In this video, we will demonstrate how to deploy a life raft. We decided to purchase a new life raft since this one was expired and it would cost about the same amount of money to purchase a new one or refurbish the old. So once you release the red string, the end of this would be tethered to the boat, preferably to a cleat or a hard surface. And then you tug on this red line, which will release the gas, compressed gas cylinder, which is inside and inflate the boat. The inflation process could take over two minutes in total. Sweet. Because wow. I'm a lighter being, and then I can keep it from flipping. After the raft is inflated, we took turns practicing boarding the raft. Even though we were in a pool where we could stand on the bottom, this was no easy feat. Well, that's good that it's got a cover, then you won't have to be out in the direct sun if it's around. Yeah. Okay, sit on the edge so it doesn't tip over. Oh, so inside, there, uh, there's a survival equipment bag that found in here and there are okay so first there's a CPR and basic first aid and stop, stop. a water bag I guess you put this up here so you can collect rain to drink and on the up uh, there's also other things like batteries and a pocket knife and other things um yeah okay emergency drinking water or that's what it says yeah in here and they're all sealed Mom, in packets there's three of those and what else is this um, sunscreen wipes in case you didn't have sunscreen with you because you don't want to get burned. Um, there is a I don't know. Whatever that is. What does it say? I don't know. A special stuff. A survival manual. And there's also flares. Um, several of them. In there in my... Um, several rations. Lots of them. There's three more in here. And the last thing is um, in case night rescue. Mom, what is it? In case of night rescue, one what surface of blade has been device? reflectorized. Oh, so you hold it towards the searchlight. It's like a mirror, a signaling mirror. Okay. After inspecting the contents of the life raft, we did some simulation in rougher conditions. Cheaper! We also practice oh, well. riding the life raft. That worked. Yeah, but you're standing on the bottom. And we also did some durability testing. So this is our new offshore life raft that we purchased. It's a four person instead of a six person, which we had. It's in a valise case.
that we will store in our cockpit locker that we will demonstrate. Our prior life raft was stored right behind the mizzen mast here in a stainless steel cradle. We are currently using that as a temporary hold for our um, gas tank for the dinghy. Now Kevin will demonstrate how we store and remove the life raft in case of emergencies. So Kevin's open the cockpit locker. He's picking it up. I'm here. You can do it one-handed. 